What's up guys? Welcome back to the Pop Complex and it's time for another Pop Complex unboxing. Alright guys, once again welcome back to the Pop Complex. Today we're going to be unboxing the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Target exclusive cartoon series the Zorax and Zork and yes that's right I did say Zorax even though the package does say Zerax um, it looks like unfortunately NECA has gotten that information incorrect and they have misspelled the name of the character it's actually Captain Zorax um, according to the episode Night of the Dark Turtle in 1993 which is when these characters premiered on the cartoon series along with the Triceraton Infantry Man as well and I previously did an unboxing and review video of that, that set as well And if you guys want to check that out, please head on down to the description I will put a link in the description of this video so you can check that out So here we have the long-awaited Zorax and Zork 2-pack from NECA So we'll take a closer look here at the box See the characters there in the window and you have the cartoon Likeness's artwork there on the box. The top just says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the classic logo. Side view has Zorax there. And Zork there. And on the back, we have some more artwork there of the actual figures themselves out of the packaging. And there we have Metalhead, the Trag and Granitor 2-pack and the Triceraton Infantryman and Roadkill Rodney 2-pack. And then you've got a little cartoon Turtles bio that you can pause and read there. But aside from that, it looks like a really awesome 2-pack, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get these guys out of the package. All right, so here's Captain Zorax and Zork out of the packaging. So we'll take a closer look at Captain Zorax first. Does have these nice horns here with the little uh, finial caps on them, I guess you could call them. I guess that would denote his rank, as well as his little decorative ribbons here on his armor. Uh, but this is a really cool figure. These, these guys are really, really large um, in comparison to some of the other NECA uh, cartoon turtles. These are these go right along with the size of like the larger figures like Leatherhead, um, which I unboxed previously, as well as the Bebop and Rocksteady uh, that we've gotten previously. So they are very substantial and heavy. So let's take a closer look at the detailing here on the armor. Very good detailing on these, these dark lines that NECA has painted in to really give us that animated look. All right, so we'll go over the articulation. The head is on a ball joint, so it can go left and right, up and down at any angle. It is restricted somewhat by the armor and by his uh, large dinosaur-like head plate here. Um, but the mouth actually has some up and down articulation as well, so you can give him more of an expressive look if you want to. And as far as the arms go, there is some more restriction, like I stated, based on this armor here, but there is a shoulder joint, so it can go out a little bit, but forward and back as far as the armor will allow. There's a bicep swivel here, and there's a double jointed elbow, which gives you some good elbow posability. Now these joints are pretty stiff coming right out of the package, so if you guys have this set, you may wanna work that out a little bit so you can get some better posability. Uh, the wrist, as far as the wrist is concerned, it has the same type of joint that goes from side to side, left and right, and a little bit of forward and backward motion here. While we're on the subject of the hands, these open palm hands are what the figure came packaged with, but it does come with a set of left and right closed gripping hands. And we also get the right-handed, like the trigger, trigger finger, so he can hold some of his accessories like the the blasters that come with this okay so there is a ball jointed swivel like an ab crunch here not much posability due to the armor though 
The hips are on a ball joint, so they can go forward and back, left and right, in and out, at any angle there. There's a double jointed knee. I was inspecting this a little bit, but it's very, very extremely stiff. So I'm not gonna work with that too much, but it is there if you wanna work that out and use that for your posing. And the ankle has a swivel, so it goes forward and back just a little bit, but side to side in any angle. Oh, and the tail as well. The tail did come separately um, like the previous Leatherhead figure and the previous Triceraton that we got. So it did come separately, so I had to pop that on. It was a little bit difficult, but not bad. Uh, but now that it is on, I can breathe a sigh of relief because I always hate putting these things on. I'm afraid that something's going to break. Um, so there's, you know, side to side, left and right movement on the tail and just a little bit of left and right up and down posability because there is a ball joint in there as well. So that is Captain Zorax. And he does come with these, these gauntlet blades that you can pop the hand off and slide these down over his, his wrist gauntlet that he has for an added effect. You can put those on both hands if you want to. And they do come with a shared accessory pack that are the same accessories that came with the Triceraton Infantryman. So they do come with those accessories, but they are shared in this pack. So you get the previous Triceraton Bazooka-like weapon that we've had previously in that pack. And you also receive the Blaster Rifle. And my favorite accessory, what I like to call the Triceraton Blaster. I did point this out in my previous video where I unboxed the Triceraton Infantryman, that it does very closely resemble the original Playmates 1990 figure blaster that we did get with that Triceraton figure back when I was a kid. So this is a favorite accessory of mine. All right, so let's take a look at Zork here. Take a closer look at him. He's quite different in detailing. Now the articulation on this guy is just exactly the same as Captain Zorax, so I'm not gonna waste any time for you guys on that going over the articulation. Uh, but as you can see, he does have some stiff jaw articulation, so you can open his mouth a little bit slightly. Now mine was, it was pushed all the way up when I did open this guy, so I had to actually take a a small knife and work in there and push that down a little bit to get get that open mouth posability, uh, but not too bad. And his armor is a little bit different. As you can see, he does have a an actual separate molded strap across his shoulder here. And his armor is quite a bit different. His tail was a little bit more difficult to pop on the ball joint, so I did actually have to use the old trick of soaking it for about 30 seconds in some very warm water. And once I did that, it uh, popped right on with no problem, just like the, um, the Godzilla tails as well that I had to do in my previous Godzilla unboxing video, uh, but not too bad. Same articulation, like I said, so I'm not gonna go over that and waste your guys' time on that. Same articulation as Captain Zorax. There he is, guys. And he also did come with a couple of hands as well. They are the same hands that Zorax comes with. He comes with the two left and right closed gripping hands, fists there. And he does come with the same right-handed open trigger finger as well. All right, guys, that was today's unboxing of Captain Zorax and Zork from Target Exclusive's NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, guys. And if you haven't already, like I said, please check out my Triceraton Infantryman and Roadkill Rodney unboxing that I previously did. I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out, guys. And uh, if you would, support the channel on Patreon. The address is patreon.com forward slash the pop complex as always please hit the like button if you like this video comment let me know what you think 
And please hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos and please hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my new uploads, guys. So once again, Triceraton 2-pack here, Captain Zorax and Zork. Check it out, guys, and I will see you next time from the Pop Complex.